Legal troubles for one Athens administrator aren't over just yet after his conviction for a conspiracy and identity theft. Now a civil lawsuit against Rick Carter and some of his co-defendants, including former Athens City Superintendent Trey Holiday, who are already pled guilty to those charges, is underway. Way 31's Ashley Carter joins us live after speaking with a Huntsville attorney representing some of the families in this civil suit. So Ashley, what can you tell us about this lawsuit? Well, as you mentioned, Marie, Will League is representing just some of these students who he believes had their identity stolen in this scheme. And he says now that with Carter's criminal conviction, the criminal portion of this trial is over, which means they can begin to proceed with the civil suit and hopefully get these victims compensated in some way. League says right now they're still in the discovery phase of the civil suit. And during this phase, they're taking depositions, which is evidence and witness testimonies usually given before a trial and requesting documents to help prove their claims a conspiracy, racketeering and identity theft. League says he believes the conspiracy theme went much deeper and likely involved even more people than those who were charged and probably included even more victims than the ones he's currently representing. The government claims it was $10 million that was wrongfully stolen from the state. And that would suggest to us there was thousands of students' personal information that was illegally used to defraud the state and the taxpayers of Alabama. League says it's important that all the victims involved in this case get the necessary justice and compensation that they deserve because he says that this scheme could provide a lasting impact on their life. Now, he did mention that if Carter does decide to appeal his criminal conviction, that they would again delay this civil suit. Live in Huntsville, Ashley Carter, Way 31 News.